Apex Legends has been an incredible success since its launch in 2019, but a lot of seasons have passed since then. Apex originally launched with six legends and one map, and now in season 10 there are 18 characters, three maps, and a new game mode. But for this video, we'll be focusing on Apex Legends Battle Royale, so here's what you need to know to get started in Apex Legends right now. From the Titanfall developers, Apex has the best movement mechanics available in any FPS game. Since this is a beginner's guide to Apex, this will cover the movement basics you need to know before starting Apex as opposed to things like tap strafing that's more at an advanced level. The first thing we need to talk about is the slide mechanic. Apex's slide mechanic will come in handy for traversing the map and making yourself a harder target to hit in fights. When you're running, make sure to put your weapons away to get to top speed, then you can hit the slide button and jump right before the slide ends to get a little movement boost. When you grapple on top of ledges, you can time your crouch to slide across as soon as you climb on top of an obstacle, giving yourself a bit of a boost as well. You can side slide and backward slide by jumping in the air and hitting the direction key while also hitting the crouch button, which can come in handy during fights if you want to be a little bit squirrely. When Apex first launched, there wasn't really a way to test out each gun and find out which weapon you liked the most or felt comfortable with. But there's now a firing range mode that you can enter on your own or with a three-man squad to practice firing weapons in. You can try all sorts of weapons with attachment combinations and even try your hand at practicing with the care package weapons to try and get comfortable with those before throwing yourself into a match. One of my recommended starting weapons for a primary gun would probably be the R301 Carbine. It's a fully auto weapon that can use any sight from the one times to the two to four times and can can be used at close or long range and has very accurate fire. Finding the guns you want to run with or just getting comfortable with the weapons in general will go a long way before you jump into a game. As mentioned earlier, there are now 18 legends to choose from and the list is ever growing. There are only 8 legends unlocked when you first open the game, but you can unlock other legends with earned in-game currency or real-life money if you want to expedite the process. Legend abilities really come in second in Apex since your gunplay is really key, but legends can help make gameplay more fun by appealing to your playstyle even more. Each legend moves at the same speed, but if you want to move a little faster, you could try playing Octane who uses a stim to move faster and can drop a jump pad that allows anyone to launch further and double jump. Or you could try Valkyrie, whose ult allows her and her teams to redeploy straight into the air and across the map. If you want to play more aggressively, you could play Fuse who holds double the grenades in inventory space and has an additional cluster bomb ability. Or if you want to provide recon for your team, you can use Bloodhound, Crypto, or Seer who are able to scan for enemies and also scan map beacons within the game to reveal the next circle location in matches. Important things to note is that Legends hitboxes do differ between the bigger sized Legends. So since Caustic and Gibraltar have bigger hitboxes, they will also have an additional perk called Fortified that reduces incoming damage by 15% and they aren't slowed by bullets. There are three maps in Apex, King's Canyon, the first map from launch, World's Edge, and Olympus. King's Canyon has changed a lot since launch with Skulltown having been erased and a new area having opened up in the upper north. King's Canyon is still the smallest map of the three, so rotations are very quick compared to the other two maps. World's Edge is the biggest map of the three and has multiple rotation points, so you never feel like you have to funnel through one spot to move from area to area. Olympus is the newest map and is between the sizes of King's Canyon and World's Edge. It's also the only map to have tridents, hover vehicles that you can use to get from place to place. However, tridents cannot damage people by running over them, and if your team is on a trident and getting shot at, the damage will be spread out to everyone who's on the vehicle and you'll be an easier target. All three maps are on an hourly rotation in trios and duos playlists, so you can go in and drop into each map and learn the layouts and your favorite landing locations. On your feet, mate. Like any battle royale, loot in Apex is randomized throughout the map. When you're in the dropship, you can look at the map and see a blue zone which indicates that there's high tier loot in those areas. However, if you choose to drop there, you might be landing with quite a few squads since they'll also want to fight for that loot. Speaking of risks and rewards, there are also care package drops that will be deployed every other circle and will be marked on the map for everyone to see. These packages will hold better armor or helmets and weapons. 
These weapons can only be looted through these care packages and they're very strong, fully kitted weapons that can potentially give you the upper hand in a fight. However, these weapons only have a limited amount of ammo, so you'll want to make sure you can find another weapon quickly once you run out. In each match, there will also be locations shown for replicators. These are essentially crafters that you can make attachments, backpacks, or heal items at. In each match, you can collect materials from containers or by opening loot bins. The replicator items change daily and also have a set weekly item rotation you can check by interacting with the replicator or by opening your map. The set items you can craft in the replicator are shield batteries, med packs, and ammo. Replicators also drop in random locations throughout matches, so if you're in need of meds and have extra materials, you can run to a drop to craft some. You can drop into Apex Legends as a squad of three or as a duo now to test your battle royale skills. Which legend is your favorite? Is there a particular weapon that you use every game? Let us know in the comments below, and for everything Apex Legends, keep it here at IGN.